we're not actually going to measure the way you, you might measure with a ruler in inches or centimeters. We're just going to compare ratios. That means if something is twice as tall or half as tall or half as wide, those comparisons should match in your drawing. So even if your drawing is really tiny or gigantic, you should still have the same relationship between those lengths. So it'll make more sense once we get started here. But before I start, uh, I posted a photograph on the course website showing how to hold the skewer. So I'm not going to use the pencil to measure here. I'm going to use a skewer because it's thinner. It doesn't block my view as much. Um, anyway, uh, just remember to keep your elbow completely straight and uh, close one eye. And then the last thing is make sure that you're not tilting the skewer forward into space to match the angle of a surface. You're only going to hold it either vertically or horizontally. I'm starting with my gesture drawing, so this should take only 15 seconds to a minute. And the next thing I'm going to do is use some organizational lines. Um, and those are going to be important because all of your measuring is going to take place from one organizational line to another. Here's the measuring technique. So I have my elbow completely straight. That's really important. I'm taking the measurement of the width of the cup and I'm doing that by using the tip of the skewer and then my fingernail. So once I have that, I'm not going to lose that measurement. I'm going to keep my fingernail in place and I'm just going to rotate my arm and find out how the height of that opening visually compares to the width. The so width was the initial measurement, and now I'm looking at the height. Now, we know that the opening is a true circle because it's a cup, but from this angle it gets foreshortened and it looks like an ellipse. And so here I can see that it's about a third, a little bit more than a third actually. A little bit more than a third sounds kind of vague, but it's enough for you to be able to check your drawing and see if you're in the ballpark. And this is not going to be the only thing you use to get the proportions right, but it's just one of several techniques that will help you get there. So I'm going to transfer what I found in my drawing. So I'm taking the width of my drawing cup, which is way bigger than the real cup, and then comparing it to the height. And it looks the same, so it worked out. Uh, let me try, let me show you another example. So here I'm going to look at the width of the cup again, but I'm going to compare it to the width of the handle at its widest point. And I can see that the handle is about a little, a little bit less than half.
So I'm moving on to my next measurement and this one's just a little bit more complicated. So I want to see how low that bottom corner of the napkin should be. So I'm going to take the height of the cup and then I'm going down once and I see that corner is still further down. So I'm going down to the organizational line of that corner of the napkin. So I need to go about a quarter more. So I moved once and then a quarter more. 